We've got an exciting one, I think, today that a certain portion of you guys are going to really enjoy. I will hate every minute of this, and maybe my suffering will bring you guys great joy, as it typically does. Anytime I'm a little flustered or aggravated, it's typically because Jordan has weaponized our Discord to do something extraordinarily stupid that I end up paying for. Not metaphorically, like I actually had to pay for all this crap on the desk. Yeah, we stole your credit card for this one. Actually, the one thing I know I didn't pay for is in this box, so maybe I'll start there. But <laughs> what we're trying to do today is I wanted a concept for something new. We've done fast, NASs. We've done fast, we've done big. We've done big, a lot of capacity. A lot of big, yeah. And then I came across this photo on it was being passed around, I don't know, somewhere. I, I think it came through our memes channel. So, through the memes channel on the Discord, and it was the most exquisite, terrible photo I think I've seen in a year. When we saw it, I think we were in super computer, we knew we had to do something. This guy had wire tied a, a Kingston SSD to the side of his PC. The GPU was being held up by uh, a box of like spark plugs or yeah. something. And the plastic, the way Kingston does the blister packs on the retail packaging, the plastic had been cut around the edges so the dude could plug in the SATA power and, and SATA uh, connection cord without ever taking it out of the box. The comments on Instagram were off the chart had something like 13,000 likes. They, it was absolutely exquisite. So I said to our friends at Kingston, this meme, we have it to wasn't do even something. a meme, it was a real photo. Yeah, we have to do something. Though. But this we thing, can't let that stand. This thing rocketed. Can you send me some, of, some drives that have that clear blister pack? And they said, we could do you one better. We can send you the identical drive <laughs> from that photo. The A400, I think it's a, a 240 gig part. Yeah. It's still being sold, and it's like $27 on Amazon. Great little so. boot drives. Fantastic. Yeah. So that was the initial concept. Kingston sent us a box. I think this should be full of those. Yeah, you can crack that open. For the rest of the parts, then what we did is went to Discord and said, hey, we've got this idea. What else can we do to make a really skinny, skinny NAS? And that's what the rest of these things are. Most of these, I assume, are terrible ideas. There we have it, 240 gig A400s. Someone's gonna have to get really nifty with their, their knife work. That looks to, like an uh, intern job. That might be an intern job. So we've got, I only wanted eight, but it looks like- Well, this is where we had to get creative. So it looks like there's 10, which this? is good, which is obviously a case full. Yep. So it's probably easier to send us 10 than, uh, yeah. than eight. Um, it's funny, 10 SSDs here, the total cost is $280. Fantastic. Not bad. So we're starting with that. I, I well, don't even know what to do next. So when we, when we solicited for feedback, we weren't quite sure what we were going to get. All we know is that we had a, an eBay account and your corporate card. So starting with our first key component. That's the key this, component? This is one of the very key, key components. There's In no fact, way. There's, there's no way. B key component. <laughs> it's an M.2 B key breakout to five SATA ports. This I, is one of the single handedly most dumb pieces of technology I've ever seen in my life. I don't know who invented this. I love them for it. This is awful. Carry on. What else you got? So, this is just some SATA cables. We know what this is. Obviously, a power well, supply. That, that power supply not much does of a something secret. special. Go ahead and listen to it. Oh, it rattles. It sounds like a baby rattle yeah. in here. Yeah. I, it showed now, up like that. Hopefully, that's just a silica pack that exploded. I don't know. <laughs> here, let me explore that while you go through those. Yep. So we've got. Oh, look, we're going to be color matched. It's all black. All black. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's silica pack, thankfully. It was That's, just comical for this entire thing. This thing's almost empty, and all the little bits are rolling around inside. There's no moisture in there now, though. Oh, no. Chimini Christmas. You probably can't see that, no. but all the little... Uh, oh, we don't... Oh, there yeah, they you're, go. You're making a mess. I, I, I'm making a mess. I didn't do it. All right. So we've got a power supply. This is a... Son of a bitch. Those things are everywhere. This is actually a uh, part of the, the thinness, that We wanted a skinny one. This is right. relatively skinny. Well, 
that's that's one of the core concepts of this thing, right? Yes. So we've done flatness. fast. Yes, flatness. We've done big, fat. big, flat. Now we're doing flat. We've done fast. Yeah. We've done fat, and now we're doing flat. So what so the, that's our SATA because this only has three SATA power on it. So we have to break it out to get all of our. Sure, I mean, that splitters to infinity will work out. Okay, now this one, I got an email from the seller after this was ordered. And they said, are you sure you want this? <laughs> this is some sort of Russian Chinese abomination, I think. I'm not sure. But the guy is like, the thing you ordered in green is out of stock. Is it okay if we send it to you in blue? And I thought that it, we had bought sweatshirts or something. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I... <laughs> so I don't know why the color of the motherboard would be a decision making factor, but I... this came from overseas somewhere. And this is probably going to be horrible. So I think this one is where the Discord really went off the rails to try to keep the cost down. Yep. Oh, it is it made looks, in China, yeah. so we've got that. It's a NAS, Network oh, no, Attack oh, Storage. Oh. Maybe you guys aren't such the biggest idiots I thought you were. This is actually a motherboard design for NAS. It says it on both sides, which I, you should keep, keep it dry. Here, you know, give it some of this. Ecological packaging. I right, keep going. Okay. Uh, so I think the trick on this one is this must be some sort of unified all-in-one board or something. Yeah, so they had suggested we get one of oh. these extra SATA cable. Cool. Uh, NAS boards because uh, we don't need that. No. Uh, I guess it's all all-in-one. It's it's the coolers all on there. That's okay. Oh, we do need the uh, dims. I thought we, we got the dims with it. I guess we I, didn't. I would have expected that to be soldered on. Yeah. That, I don't hate. This I, is, thought, I thought for sure I would hate this Yeah, thing. and this is actually a little bit better than the one I think we had originally ordered. We got four nicks on there. We got, a, we got four nicks. We got a quad four, port. Yeah, four yeah. ports. This, do you know what this thing costs? Uh, was it like 200 bucks? All right, we'll put the, the whole part build in the description, but this thing is not terrible. I am shocked. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. This could be the first time since we've started the Discord. They've actually done something. That they've done something productive yeah. and not let me down. We also have, we got more setup ports than we, we thought bargained for. We thought there was only going to be... You thought there was only going to be four. Yeah. Good news, 10 drives, six ports, five from that dumb thing. Great, so we'll use one of these drives as the boot drive, the other nine, yeah. maybe. Maybe. I would suggest that you use one of those six slots for the boot drive because I don't trust running through this. There's should no, we, there's no we, chance this is going to work. I have an idea for the boot drive. What? USB? We'll, we'll get there later. Um, oh, we haven't talked about the case that we're using. Oh, yeah. Well, my thought was uh, we get a peg hook because I like how these things have... That's not the case. It can be. We have... Zip ties yeah. and power tools. Great. Flat NAS. Well, these idiots put this thing together. I'm going to go get some actual work done. And uh, I'm sure when I come back, I'll be blown away with their ingenuity, creativity, and uh, problem solving skills. Yeah, what could go wrong? Let's build this thing. Yeah, let's build this thing. What the oh. fuck are the screws for? They came out of the crate for the CDU. But the, they're too fucking long for this. Everything is wrong. It's all wrong. None of it's correct. We, we have a water damaged laptop ram. <laughs> okay. So we're here. We got some shit. I don't know what the fuck. Oh, that looks like a perfect size screw for the motherboard. Okay, at least it doesn't look like there's any nails. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So many OSHA violations. It's just because the board is wet, sir. Everything about this is wrong. There's nothing like, hey, how, how can we make this look right? Or how can we make it right? It's all wrong. I normally use such care for all of my servers that I'm building. This lab smells like wood. Like I, <laughs> it's moist wood. I recently did this in my lab. <laughs>
Oh, I, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if any noise is funny. I don't know if we need more, but... Uh, uh, it's, it's safety. <laughs> it's self-tapping, self-grounding, one of those. There was another piece of RAM. That did not work. That was defective. What was not defective, shockingly, were two sticks of RAM from a water-damaged notebook. Thank you. Everything about this system is going to be damaged. I kind of want to make a running bet. My personal take is this is not going to work with a couple of operating systems. And there's one that I was promised they would work on that I was almost certain it's not going to work on. So I'm excited to know if I'm wrong or if other people are wrong. <laughs> is Kingston a proud sponsor of this project? Kingston? Actually, that's a great time for an ad break. Kingston, thanks for sponsoring the world's worst NAS. <laughs> I don't think that... Those are words they want to be associated with, but let's see what happens. That C6, it does not see the little awful chipset thing that I told you to not work. Everything about this makes me sad. I mean, we'll still get lots of capacity from six drives. Yeah, they're only 240 gigs though. But of course they are. <laughs> All right, top one, upgrade install. That little Optane, heck yeah. So we see our eight gigabytes of memory. It says it's gigabit. But it's probably a web of lies. Let's see what this sees. Create a pool. Check them all. Huh. What? <laughs> Confirm. I wish I could regret this. See, true ass will run on anything. anything. <laughs> it's snappy because up there. Is it's there snappy. Get it? It's wood. <laughs> it's wood. This is not what we agreed to do. I finished it. It's rack mounted. No. Okay, first of all, rack mount was never a target, oh. and this looks like trash. But it I is. Do, I do enjoy the up arrows, though, because that way you know which way your data is facing. Well, it's it's powered by Cool IT. What the hell did you guys... I wouldn't touch that too hard. Here, power button. Why? I So... Our, our, our SATA expander... I, I don't even know what to say about this. I, well, I have it explanations. I have explanations. Oh, well, may I ask qu several questions? No. These guys... We oh, used a oh. different case, okay? Okay, a different case, Sorry. yeah. All right. So I will give these guys credit, because it's 2.30. It's only been an hour, I think, and they've come up with this freaking... Well, it's the beautiful. first one is too of a masterpiece. It was screwed into the table. Okay, so the case you had to abandon. Yes. Because it was too thin. Did not work. But you have found a. It wasn't a case, it was a board. It was an it was enclosed. Our case. It was an open air enclosure. So you found an inch and a half thick piece I'm of. I'm using board. wood screws to the motherboard and I insulated it. And they're grounded. For you, that's a big step. And the best part the board is wet. It's yes, wet. it was outside because it was raining. Yes, yes we found it. <laughs> it works. It works. We have TrueNAS. You really got TrueNAS to install? Yeah. And we have a share up. All right, so stop. Wait, Before, why are, there's a shitload of uncorrectable read errors. I wonder if it has anything to do with our mounting. Did okay. you put the screw through the drive? These guys are still... I don't know. Don't know what, what they've done. Well, okay. hold on, hold on. No, no, no. We classed it up a little bit. I have, I'm have. i not done with my questions. First of all, why is this button here? Well, well you got to turn it on. on. Did it come with that button? No. The, way the board came with no way to power it on? That's my LN2 button. Right. But it came with no way to power it on. No. Right. Well, it auto-powers Screws. on. Okay. Um, also, you found DRAM. We thought there would be RAM on the board. There was not. It was water-damaged DRAM. What happened to our M.2 multi-bay expander? It's broken. It's not compatible with TrueNAS, so whoever decided to pick that one out for a TrueNAS project... Discord. Yeah. Jackasses. I found okay. the parts list after I, it was already in the office. Okay, but hold on. There's uh, there's SSD. Those <laughs> are spares. <laughs> what happened to this poor guy? Okay. It's, it's, it was very violent in here for a little so bit. So there were some SSDs apparently that didn't make the cut. How many? I can't even tell how many there are because... Six. Oh, shit. <laughs> Six. You put one... <laughs> Six. Did you lose a finger? I don't, I don't know. Why is it one screw? And am I, I'm afraid I'm going to shock myself if I touch this thing. It's grounded. Are you sure? No. It's static. <laughs> it's ESD safe. Okay. 
Why is there one screw? You had peg holes. You could have hung them nicely. What peg holes? In the package. Then they would have slid off. No, but this is... What? You don't go to a Best Buy and see SSDs on the floor because they slid off. That's why they're area. attached mechanically. <laughs> okay. It's secure. It's firmly that's, mounted. It's that's open source. terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. They're, I assume they're all powered. You've got foam behind the board. Boy, that motherboard connection is coming out a little bit. There we go. Sorry. And you mounted the power supply also. Yes. Grounded. With one screw? Two. Huh. Okay. It's firmly mounted. But look at this. See, for like the spare wires, like this dude can't get no in the system. way. Wait, Wait why are there spare wires? I don't know, but I screwed them all onto the board just because like they were in the way. It kept on, that one kept on jamming the CPU fan. Because okay. it uses like no power at all, it's safe cold. Oh, but you also, okay, so I, I see an SSD there. You didn't use the SATA expander, but you just put a regular boot drive in there? Oh, no, no, no. We classed that way up. Oh, it's we, Optane. It's Optane. Another technology that's no longer made, but you needed Optane to boot this. Well, it boots really fast. Did you see it? I saw it do some stuff. I'm not really sure that it's actually doing anything else productive just yet. And the I'm best a, part is the noises that it made. <laughs> Wait, the system made noises? The screws going through the motherboard, the sounds were awful. <laughs> I, hope, I hope that was the middle part of this video that I haven't seen yet. So I assigned you guys the task to make a flat NAS. And an off-the-shelf NAS is flatter than this thing. This is not flat. If you don't disconnect, <laughs> it's like a U or less. <laughs> what do you mean a U or less? This whole board's a freaking rack. We're not you counting the board. You don't you count the whole rack when you put the server in. You're not like, oh, my one U server is actually forty-two. This is a two U server, right? This is a three and a half U. No, it's that's a garbage an OCP server. No, this is not. This is no. It's fast. It's got okay. Nothing. Are you gonna make storage out of this? We did. Break five. We have one terabyte of storage. <laughs> Because someone requested 240 gig SSDs. We requested 240 gig SSDs because we were inspired by the guy. In I don't the like Indian, any of this. Indian PC uh, forum and uh, or subreddit and and his his was a lot nicer. You guys beat the crap out of this case. Um, but I guess when we wear out the endurance on these, we can send them back in as like new in box. Well, what I was thinking is there's free technical support. You want to get tech support on this? Yes, I want to send a picture. This has gone terribly bad, but we will do you a favor, and I use that in the least real sense. We'll give sense. you a parts list of things we'll not give to you buy. A, we'll give you a parts list of what we bought. We'll skip the broken SATA uh, bit, the expander guy. Uh, but overall, I don't think this was that expensive. Uh, you did make it look terrible, and we would... I Would. It is wood. We would. We would like to thank our friends. It's snappy. Get it? It's like, it's snappy. We'd like to thank our friends yeah. at Kingston who helped make this possible by sending us the SSDs. Will they ever send us another product after seeing this? Likely not. So when you don't see us using Kingston next time, you'll know why. They enabled it. For now, maybe this one will go up on our Discord giveaway. I don't know. This is a terrible idea. But there's our execution of Flatness. Can we wrap it and just stick it? like a shipping label on the side. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah.